Hello, this is the sixth video in a series of life hacks on Suricata rules. Did you know that you can automatically extract files from network traffic and save them to disk using Suricata rules? This can be useful if you need to obtain additional artifacts for incident analysis. To utilize this feature, you need to use the file store option. It supports specific protocols such as HTTP, SMTP, FTP, NFS and others. This option can be enabled in the Suricata configuration file, suricata.yml. File store, yes. Then you should specify the directory where the files will be saved and optionally provide other parameters. For example, the stream depth parameter can be used to save large files. Otherwise, by default, only the first megabyte of the file will be saved. In the specified directory, the files will be saved in folders named after the first two characters of the files SHA-256 hash. The saved file will be named after its SHA-256 hash. You can save files with specific names, sizes, extensions or hash sounds as well as with specific data returned by libmagic. I will show you two examples of rules. The first one is for saving executable PE files. If such a file is encountered in HTTP traffic, it will be extracted from the traffic and saved to disk using the file store option. In the second example, you can save files to disk that exceed a certain size. In this case, the size is greater than 100,000 bytes. Now let's see how this works on a random traffic dump. Both rules were triggered and the file should have been saved to disk. You can find the details in tmp suricata if.json. The PE file has been saved to disk, we see stored true, and we can also see its SHA-256 hash here. Now let's see where the file was saved. According to my settings, it should be saved in the store directory. There are many folders here. The file is saved in the directory based on the first two characters of its hash. Let's find the folder 42. We see that the file has been saved. Now let's check its properties. It has a size of 7 megabytes and it is an executable PE file. This way you can easily and quickly configure the extraction of potentially malicious files from traffic. In the next video, I will talk about a special option called Engine Analysis. See you soon, stay tuned!